Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play 999. Last time we left off, we were beginning to escape from the shower room, and, well, here we are, in the shower room. Um, we got some stuff, like a red key car, a screwdriver, take a thermometer off the wall, and there's, like, stuff in the toilet we need to get rid of, so we need, like, I think the main thing here, we need hot water. How to get it? Well, you tell me. So, we got... So this is the room. Ooh, okay. This is where we need to get out from, I guess. Yeah. Nothing happens when I press these buttons. Well, it looks like the power's on. Yeah, I'm wondering what the deal is with those things that say lock up there, though. I do have a red key card. Oops, no, I didn't want to do that. I do have a red key card, apparently. What happens if I slide it down here? The red light's on, Jumpy. Sweet. Um. Nothing happens when I press the buttons, though. I guess I have to get the red and, and blue lights to turn on first. So I got one of them on. That's good. Um, okay. So can't do anything else there. So there's only this one left. Uh, only this left. There's water coming out from the shower head. Let's see if... Shit, that's hot. Really hot. Man, that water must be just about boiling. It is. Bucket time. Just gotta grab it. Bucket. I want some water. Maybe I can use the shower here to fill up the bucket with hot water. Hey, Seven, can you turn on the shower? I'm gonna put the bucket under the head. Okay, sure thing. And... Okay. Hot water. Sweet. Um... Now... Which one had that stain in it? Was it this one? Yes, it did. Now let's pour hot water in it. There's something that looks like tar inside the toilet bowl. If I flush the hot water from the bucket, there should that should clean it up. Oh, I have to flush it. Uh, can I put it in here then? All right, so I just poured the hot water into this tank, and looks like you filled it. Now you should be able to flush it, right? That's probably a handle somewhere in the tank that that you pull. You think so? Serious? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's flush the, to the hot water. Oh, well, there it goes. Just like a toilet should work. And... Whoa, look at that. Uh, hmm. That stuff, that stuff's, uh, washed off. Looks like that's, there's writing, there, that, ugh. Looks like that writing was numbers. See it? 185 equals. What is that? You got me. Just looks like numbers. Huh, okay, the dirt we flush off was settled to the bottom of the pool. A bowl. Not a pool. Uh, actually, do I still have that bucket with me? Shoot. Um. Did I put it, did I put back, why would I get rid of the bucket? Don't I need it still? How am I gonna get this? Huh. I hope I didn't do anything wrong there. Mm. Really hot water comes out from the shower. I get the feeling it might still be useful for something else. Yeah, the... the oops, I pressed the button there. Yeah, to get the water out from the... They get that card out. Crap. Okay, really? Yeah, okay. Probably shouldn't have clicked that again. Uh, there is uh, this here. Open this up. Yeah, what is this? There's a piece of paper tied to this pipe. Tied with the... Uh, tied to this pipe with a wire. Drain valve operation. Please do not flush the water in these pipes. Doing so may cause the drain to overflow. Drain. Okay. So that's how we do it. We just got to, uh... Yeah. Oh, we gotta do this a certain way. How the hell do we figure this one out? It's gonna be kind of useful. Pointless. Just do it left and right. You know what? Shoot. I have Luminol, don't I? I don't know if it's actually... Yeah, I'm mean, sure, yeah. Luma has to... Has, they gave me Luma for a reason here. If I split around the blood, maybe that'll work? Wait, you don't really think we're, we're supposed to use the luminal here, do you? Yeah, it does seem kind of weird to use it here. But maybe I should try it, just in case. Why is it weird? There's blood here. Might as well. It's old blood. So... What now? Oh, and I used my luminol again. Great. Why do I have a broom with me, too? That's... 
Ooh, wait a minute. It's supposed to... Isn't it supposed to be dark? There we go. L L R L R. Wait. L L R L L R L R L. What? Just like you thought, Junpei. There's some more letters showing up after the L L R. See? It says L L R L R L. Interesting. Oh, I can't use the light anywhere else. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Huh. Well. When I look at these letters, usually when I think L R L R, I usually think of video game codes or cheats, and usually they're just abbreviations for left, right, left, right, whatever. And I'm assuming this, because this, I guess is the only thing left to do here, is to open the um, mess of those valves. If we follow it like this, left, left, right, left, right, left. Okay. I think I get. It. Okay, I think I got it. So this is a uh, L L R L R L. Well, I I did what it said on the wall. I wonder if it actually did anything. Let's check the drain. Hey, the drain's acting up. What the hell did you do? I just messed with these valves a little. Nothing big. The drain's. Oh wait, the drain. Let's open it. Yes, we got it. There must be, uh, there must be water flowing through the pipe on the right. There's water pouring out of the drain. Sweet! Key card! It's, uh... What symbol is that again? Didn't, uh, we call it a lotus symbol because it's like a female with devil horns or something like that for lotus. Uh, I think it's actually a mercury symbol. It's a blue key card. This is, um, the symbol for mercury, isn't it? Right. There's an elevator right outside of that big hospital room. I think that same symbol is the card reader next to it. That's right! I guess that means we're not supposed to use this card in this room. Um, do you really think so? You don't think maybe we need it for this room and for the elevator? Ooh. Only one way to check. Um, let's slide it across. Great job, Jumpy! Both of the lights are on now. Now you just need to put in the password. Shoot! Um, okay, password, password. We had, what, two sets of, or three sets of numbers? I don't even remember. Oh, I look at my items again. Oh, wait, 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 we got thermometer. I forgot. Um, this is hot water, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I put the th thermometer in here? That water flowing out of the dark drain, we found a Oh, wait, 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 hot water here, okay. Yeah, if I can get this hot water on the thermometer, then maybe... All right, thermometer, let's get this party started. Is it going to open if it reaches a higher temperature? That yep, looks like that's doing the trick. There goes the gauge. Now it's at the open mark. Hmm? Huh. It opened. What's this? Looks like there's a piece, something... There's, it looks like there's a piece of paper in here. Sure enough. Sure enough. Nine, five, seven... And... Oh, wait. Yeah, there's a... There's a uh, number here. Six, three, four... Oh, ho, ho, you gotta be kidding me. Alright. Um, we have a calculator, right? And then, what did it say in here? Okay, we, uh, do we have a calculator? Yeah, we do, but where? Oh, uh, shoot. Oh, crap, that, what did I just... <laughs> Sorry about that, I flipped my, uh... <laughs> I flipped my, uh, emulator. Pressed 1 instead of the L button. Uh, okay, no, no, I need... Calculator. Calculator is... How do I get it? Down, right? I thought I had to click down. Is it up? Down, let, up, X? What do I do? No! Oh. It's... Y. Huh, okay. Totally wrong there. No, 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 I don't want to... Uh, no, 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 I think I got it. I just got it. Okay, so we have... What, 957, right? Yeah, okay. So... 
957 plus, and then the second piece of paper, what, 634? Actually, I got I gotta look at it again. Uh, yeah, 634 plus, so... Oh, it doesn't even, it doesn't even... It's 957, 947, uh, whatever. 634 plus 185 equals, that, that's what it was. 1776. Okay, I think we got it. We add those three, uh, three numbers together, and I think we just figure out the code. Both lights are on. We should be able to enter the password now. What's up the E and C keys? E means enter, and C means clear, I think. So after you put in the password, hit E. If you screw it up, then hit C. Okay, I hope this works. It should be 1776, then. Alright. Nice! Open! We did it! That was actually pretty easy. Alright, let's get the hell out! Alright, that was actually a pretty easy room. Uh, still feel bad about what happened in, like, you know, get going to door three. Uh, oh, and actually, you know, Snake's body being in there too. Ugh, whatever. Outside the shower room was a hallway that extended off to the left and right. At the right end was a large iron door. They moved a few steps toward the door when Junpei heard the sound of metal on metal. What the hell's that? They turned around. Seven was doing something to the door of the shower room. What are you doing, Seven? Well, I figured maybe we might want to come back uh, here come back here sometime. So I stuck the broom in there to keep the door from shutting. Alright, let's go. Kind of like when we were in the, um... The first class cabin. Hmm. With that, he stood up and began walking down the hallway. He brushed past Junpei and kept going. After a moment, the rest of them followed, at, followed him. Before long, they found themselves at a large iron door. They had only been there for a moment when Jun, Jun spoke up. Junpei, look! And he turned. There, on the right side of the hallway, was a piece of paper attached to the wall. Junpei ran over and peel, peeled it off. <laughs> it's a map of the ship's interior. It said C deck in the upper left corner. From what he could tell, it was a map of the floor they were on. Don't I have a map of the ship with me that I just never bought? Actually, do I have it? Yeah. The map of the ship. Touch the colored area to the bottom map dis the display in a large version of the... Yeah. Okay, so what? These green rooms are what? Rooms that we've been in. Oh, okay. Wow, there's a lot we haven't examined in here. What is this? Second class cabin. When the hell were we in here? Kid, when? Were we? Okay, this is confusing. Kitchen. These two, I remember. I don't think we went into unless I'm just confused about something. Ah, whatever. Um. So yeah, there's map. And what else is in here? A calculator and a file. Okay. There's that. Uh, they would take. There will be time to look at it later. Jupe folded the map and stuffed it into his pocket. Back at the door, the four of them lined up in front of it. Santa stepped forward. He grabbed hold of the door and then turned to look back at the rest of them. Ready? I'm gonna open it. They nodded. Santa nodded back and threw the door open. All four of them leapt through. It only took a moment for them to realize what they, where they were. There had only been a short time ago. It was a large hospital room filled with countless beds. Wait a minute! So... That's what that, dude, that room in the middle was then! What the hell? So that kind of just did Jack Diddley then! There was no point in going through door three if that's what happened. Because we didn't leave anyone behind, right? I hope to God nothing happened to the other two then. Please tell me that they're still here. They're probably pissed. Lois and Clover, Clover looked up as they entered. Yep, there they are. Ace was there as well, although he looked as though he had only just woken up. The moment they spotted Junpei, Lois and Clover headed straight for him. Oh, we're dead. As she neared him, Lois drew back her hand. And slapped the living shit out of me. Open palm across the face. How could...
could you do this to us? Her face was furious. She grabbed Junpei by the collar and shook him violently. Clover didn't touch him, but the hate in her eyes was no, was no less potent. It was Seven who stopped them. Knock it off! We've got bigger shit to worry about right now. His deep voice echoed through the across the massive room. I thought it was the universe. Lotus glared at Seven, but let Junpei go after one last vicious shake. You know, you're the one who brought up the whole aspect of freaking sacrificing. Now, why the hell were you all so defensive about it when you're the one being sacrificed? What? Go have a look. Um, I stuck the screwdriver in the door. That door over there, the one without a number. So as long so as, as long as the screwdriver's there, it can't shut, so you can get in there. Seven also explained how they might find a shower room and how they he'd use the broom to ensure the door remained open as well. Then you're saying we can go in there without passing through the number door? Yeah, that's about the size of it. What the hell's in there? You'll know when you see it. No, don't let Clover go in there, you dumbass! Lotus and Clover looked at one another for a moment and nodded and stepped through the door. By then, Ace had made his way to them, moving with his stiff, shuffling steps of someone who had just only woken up from a lengthy slumber. My goodness. I knew I, I know I said I was, I was sure you'd come back for me. Anything would be happening so soon, though. Ace shook his head weakly. Should I go as well? Seven nodded. Very well. Ace followed Lotus and Clover over his stiff, tired gait. Gat, whatever. I don't even want... I don't... Yeah... Does that say nine? Oh! I thought that was nine. The squeal of tortured metal made Junpei's teeth curl. It sounded like the noise of a ghost would make. No matter how many times he heard it, he never got used to it. Every time, it put him on edge. It didn't help that there was a girl who nearby who looked far more like a ghost than a living human should. It was Clover. She sat on the edge of the bed, her head drooping listlessly on her chest. Her eyes were blank and stared stared across the room at nothing. Her breathing was slow and mechanical. Aside from the rise and fall of her chest, she didn't move. She be felt as if she that as even a nudge might cause her to shatter into a thousand pieces. Snake was probably murdered. Chances uh, are he was killed the same way the Knife Man was. Seven lowered his voice, likely in an effort to keep Clover from hearing what he had what he had to say. There were four other people in the room with Junpei and Seven: A, Santa, June, and Lotus. Seven looked at each each one of them in turn and continued. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. First, the killers got Snake to authenticate the red to open door three. And they shoved him into it alone, and waited for nine seconds for the door to shut. Once that door shut, it was over for Snake, but he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably ran into the shower room looking for the dead. It was a small chance, but it wasn't like it wasn't like he had anything to lose. Fortunately, it didn't work. The dead air only deactivated if if everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the dead. And then 80, 81 seconds after he sho shoved in, that happened. I see. So that's what you mean, meant by killers, huh? You need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, including Snake. It wouldn't open for Snake and a single killer. Exactly. That means we're looking for at multiple perps here. Junpei crossed his arms and grunted. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. Well, when, when do you think Snake was killed? We all split up and looked for parts of Reds, I think. Right after that was when he noticed we, he was gone. And that means some of us have alibis. We were all off searching rooms we'd been assigned looking for those parts. Yeah. That means anybody could be a killer. Wait a minute! Why are you talk what are you talking about? June seemed shocked. How can you how can you say one of us is a killer so casually? Well, not just one of us. If I'm right, then at least two of us are murderers. Why don't you calm down a bit, Seven? What, what are you going to gain by being so suspicious here? That's what Zero wants, you know? What? Zero wants? Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Any game has a winner and a loser. Whoever makes it through Door 9 is a winner, and those who don't are the losers. 
Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other. Exactly. That is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion here. We have to trust one another and form a strong bond of friendship. Otherwise, we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations here. Then, does that mean that the person who killed Snake? Yes, almost certainly Zero himself. If there's anyone, uh, if, if there's anyone we should doubt, it should be Zero. He masterminded this game and kidnapped all of us. Doesn't it, doesn't it seem reasonable that he, he would have killed Snake as well? Junpei hadn't really considered that. If Zero had killed Snake, then Zero was was on the ship with them. Was Zero still on the ship with them? Well, I'm not sure. I doubt this is gonna matter, but uh, I, by, I don't think it's gonna matter by answering. But uh, in that case, I'm just gonna go, go ahead and end the video here and probably end my recording session for today as well. Um, so yeah, this has been one hell of a development. We thought we left people behind, but apparently we didn't. Well, the bad thing is, we Snake is still dead. So. We originally had nine people with us, then it went down to eight, and then I thought it went down to four. I mean, no, wait a minute. Well, yeah, because it, okay, it was it was nine first, and then it was eight. Snake disappeared, making it seven. We left behind essentially three people. Then I was like, oh crap, there's, this game, there's only four people left. We come back. There's now there's seven of us left. Snake is, I guess, confirmed. I say I guess. I mean, he's confirmed dead. Blew up. That's not cool. But, uh, yeah. Uh, but I guess next time we'll answer his question and we'll continue on. Perhaps through another numbered door. Um, we do have that Mercury card for the elevator, so I guess we're going to go down there and find another set of doors. Maybe. Maybe find door 9. We'll see what's up. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play 999. I'll see you guys later.